Sarah Mueller, South Carolina State Parks Insider. Today I'm at Myrtle Beach State Park and I'm standing here with Ann Wilson, the park interpreter. Ann, why don't you tell us a little bit about what we're going to be doing today. We're going to do a sea trail nest inventory and what that means is the nest hatched three nights ago, actually hatched on a Thursday night, and so it's now Monday and so we are now going to dig it up and find out how successful the nest was. So we hope to find lots of empty eggshells. We'll probably find a few dead eggs that died early in development. Um, we might find some dead babies in there. We also might find some live hatchlings that weren't strong enough to make it out with the rest of the group. When we do the inventory, we'll start digging in the nest. And we know where to dig because the sand is soft because that's where they hatched out. And then we're going to pull up eggshells and we put them in two different categories. The first category is going to be a hatched egg. So it's a cracked egg and that, that's a good thing. That's like, I call that a correct test score. Yay. And we'll put them in groups of five to make it easier to count. Then sometimes we also encounter em um, dead eggs. They did not hatch, they died either late or early in development. So we'll put those off in a different category. And then once again, we might also sometimes find dead hatchlings and also some live hatchlings. If we do find live hatchlings, we will put them in a bucket to, to figure out how healthy they are and then we'll assess their ability to walk and then we'll put them on the beach as far as we think they can walk because it's important for them to stretch their muscles and also imprint on the sand so they'll come back to the beaches of the southeast 25-30 years from now and let them walk into the ocean and people love to see that, that's always fun. Thursday night, 57 days, Cheryl got to see the crawls and it was a really nice tight, very tight, went straight out. There's only um, 102 eggs in here, so it's not a huge nest. Um, in 57 days, you know, I was pretty, I was pretty shocked at that because this one got overwashed by Irene a lot. So I would have thought it would have slowed it down. But it looked like a good, healthy hatch. Have people know where it is, and I think if we just put up a sign, I think more people would walk on it and everything, just not understanding what's going on. Last year, at about this time of the year, they were doing nest inventories as we were doing this morning. And was our, that was our first experience with actually seeing turtle eggs and live hatchlings. So that really um, piqued our interest. Piqued our interest. Our training is we started our training, started our turtle patrol for, uh, on Monday mornings, we were assigned. But we did have a wonderful experience as one of the nests hatched. We saw like something that looked like a little bit different shadow than what we'd seen before. So we came back up to the nest and a husband said, I don't think so. And I said, well, we'll stand here a few minutes. So we stood there and watched. And the, yeah, the sand started caving in. We could see a little mo movement down at the bottom of the hole. So we called Anne, Ranger Anne. She came down and she said, yes indeed, what we saw was a turtle, so... Okay, so if you're lucky enough to see turtle hatchlings on the beach, if a, if a nest is hatching out, keep your distance and also make sure that you let them walk on their own to the water. It's important for them to exercise their muscles and also they might imprint on the sand in order to come back to the southeast beaches in 25, 30 years.